Uh, this is the third video. Uh, the second one today, we had a, about a uh, half hour session this morning and uh, Glenn's keen enough to have another go because ponies eat in small regular meals. He's not desperately hungry but that sugar beet is rather tempting and he doesn't really care too much at all about the deer skin now. Just going to have a wander around now. Quite happy walking around with a deer skin on his back. He did have a little spook earlier on and ran off with the skin on his back and uh, after about a hundred yards it fell off. But that's okay, he came back again. He got a bit of a fright but they soon get over it. You just got to if, give Highland ponies time and they get used to most things. I'm just moving the deer skin a bit, pushing it back and forth. He's looking around just to check. So no different to having a saddle on his back really, just a bit smelly. There's a log on the, on the ground there and I just tripped, out, tripped up over. I'll get that out of the way. It's an interesting thing that it's, it's quite difficult even for humans to concentrate on two things at the same time. If you go to a party or go to meet somebody and you just quietly say, oh, I just strangled my, my uh, mother-in-law before I came out, ten times out of a hundred, <laughs> you say, oh, really, how nice. <laughs> I've taken off the skin. He's done very well. So... That'll do us, I think. Might get the deer saddled up the loft. <laughs>